Hi friends! Welcome back to Storytime with the Pflugerville Public Library. Today we're going to talk and sing about farms. But first we'll sing our hello song. Remember our sign language that we use with our hello song? We're going to sign more and together, happy, and friends. All right, let's get started. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Thanks for joining in on that song. Are you ready? Let's talk about farms. Can you name some animals that live on a farm? That's right, ducks, chickens, sheep, goats, like my friend the goat here. They all live on a farm. How about cows, horses, and pigs? That's right, they all live on the farm too. How about some animals that don't live on the farm? How about a vulture? Does a vulture live on the farm? No. What about a narwhal? Does a narwhal live on the farm? Nope. Vultures and narwhals, along with other animals like lions, wolves, and bears, are wild animals, and they don't live on farms. Only animals like goats and horses, ooh, horses, <laughs> live on farms. All right, will you sing a song with me? Let's sing Old MacDonald. You ready? Here's our farmer. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a bye bye here and a bye bye there, here by there by everywhere bye bye. Old MacDonald had a farm, e i e i o, and on that farm he had a cow, e i e i o. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo there a moo everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, e i e i o. And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here there. Quack there, quack everywhere, quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. What's your favorite animal? I like ducks. I like the way they quack. <laughs> Are you ready to hear a story? Let's hear about the boy who cried wolf. Once upon a time, there lived on a small farm a boy named Tommy and his family. Tommy's chore was to watch over the animals to make sure that nothing bothered them. While his parents worked on other parts of the farm, he had to watch the cow, who ate grass all day. Boring! He had to watch the duck, who swam in the pond all day. Even more boring! And he had to watch the pig, who wallowed in the mud all day. The most boring thing of all. Tommy was bored, bored, bored. He decided to liven things up a bit. A wolf would be interesting. A wolf would be exciting. A wolf would be not boring. So Tommy cried out, 
in his loudest, scaredest voice. Help! Help! I see a wolf! The cow looked up. The duck looked up. Even the pig looked up. Tommy's parents came running. Wolf? I don't see a wolf, said Tommy's dad. Tommy's mom said, Are you sure you didn't see Jiffy, the neighbor's dog? No, I didn't see anything really, said Tommy. I just wanted to see how fast you would come if I called. Well, we came pretty fast, said Tommy's dad. And Tommy's mom said, I'm pretty busy planting the fall crops. You and I need to get back to work. Stop goofing around, Tommy. The cow went back to grazing. The duck went back to swimming. And the pig went back to wallowing. And Tommy went back to being bored. What's more exciting than one wolf, thought Tommy. A whole bunch of wolves. <gasps> The cow looked up. The duck looked up. Even the pig looked up. Tommy's parents came running again. What? What? Where are the wolves? cried his parents. Um, I might have been exaggerating a little bit, said Tommy. No wolves, said Tommy's mother. I'm just so Bored, said Tommy. You can't keep yelling about wolves when you're bored, Tommy, said his mother. That's called lying. If you're so bored, you can clean out the chicken coop, said Tommy's father. We're going back to work. The cow went back to grazing. The duck went back to swimming. The pig went back to wallowing. And Tommy went back to being bored, bored, bored. Only now he had to clean out the chicken coop, too. A little while later, while Tommy was finishing up cleaning up the chicken coop, what should come skulking around the corner of the barn? <gasps> An honest-to-goodness, really, truly wolf. Tommy could not believe his eyes. He opened his mouth. Ah! He squeaked out a warning. cow ignored him. The duck ignored him. Even the pig didn't look up. No one came. Tommy gathered up his courage and a pitchfork. He had to chase that wolf away all by himself. But first he took a selfie with the wolf to prove that he wasn't lying. Later that evening, he showed the picture to his parents. I'm sorry I lied about the wolf. You can see a real one came later and no one believed me. I won't ever lie like, lie like that again. Do you think Tommy learned his lesson? I sure hope so. I hope you enjoyed our farm story time today. And if you'd like to read more stories about farms, please check out Chickens to the Rescue and Pigs to the Rescue. They're both by John Himmelman and they're really funny books about wacky farm animals. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. On another day. Bye, see you next time.